Late Night Health continues as we begin the year 2018. Our friend Karen Howard, the CEO and Executive Director of Organic and Natural Health Association, has stated that this is the year of the consumer. Yay! Uh, And we go to Washington, D.C., where Karen is uh, on our phone line. Karen, is it really going to be the year of the consumer? We're going to get some good stuff that we can eat and know about? You know, know I about. Think, yeah, I, it's a great question, and I will say that the reason that that is going to happen is because the consumers are so adamant and demanding what it is that they want that corporations are now simply paying much more attention than they ever were because they know it will benefit them in the long run financially. You mentioned uh, in some material that Campbell's Soup Company, which is a big food processor and manufacturer, has withdrawn from the Grocery Manufacturers Association and is voluntarily labeling uh, GMO ingredients on its on its products. Yay! Yes. Yay! Yay! So for all these years, we've been talking about how. Consumers should go to a grocery store, stay out of the main aisles, and shop around the edges, right? Right. Um, And now, you know, the way grocery stores, you know, conventional grocery stores are functioning is that they're they're embedding their organic products inside all of those aisles. And then you look at a Campbell's who is genuinely, and I would attribute this to female leadership, but genuinely (laughs) interested in the supply chain and the environment and the issues that are really growing near and dear to consumers' hearts and they're actually moving with their pocketbooks, which is being much more effective in turning around the productions of goods and services than anything Congress has done, much more quickly than what Congress is able to do or what agencies have resources to do. Uh, I've got to tell you that uh, I try to buy non-GMO produce, and it's hard because you don't know what you're getting. It's not mandatory to be uh, 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 labeled as you and I have discussed. So my wife, I went to Costco the other day and my wife said, please, please buy me Campari tomatoes. I said, I don't want to. I think they may be genetically modified, I think. She said, well, buy them anyway. They taste really good. And I went, I bought the tomatoes they were reasonably priced. Two and a half pounds was like, I don't know, $4. And I noticed a little sticker on it, and I pulled it back. I was absolutely wrong. The Campari tomatoes at, at, at Costco are non-GMO and registered that way. I was so happy because these stupid tomatoes taste like old-fashioned tomatoes. I was well, really that in impressed. Is amazing, because that's hard to find out of season. So I wonder where they were grown and where they were imported, right? Yeah, they were. They're grown in Mexico. Yeah. So you know, I think people are genuinely and legitimately concerned about GMOs for a variety of reasons, and I think people are also misled to believe that we don't know what products are being uh, genetically modified. And I think the concern comes with what gene you are putting into a plant. Not necessarily if you're migrating varieties and things like that that we've been doing it to apples and other produce for many, many years. Well, the, the, a, a, in, right? if we're doing products are well known, right? But if we're doing it the way Mendel, the 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 the, the monk, did it, where he took, you know, um, uh, pollen from one plant and put it into another, that's one thing. Right. But when they do it in a petri dish and add Roundup to it, that bothers right. me. Correct which is why we're so engaged in doing this um, glyphosate residue testing, essentially looking at the supply chain to see if there is Roundup in either the organic or non-organic side of primarily dietary supplements right now. And you're already seeing it in food. You're seeing it in Ben & Jerry's ice cream. Um, There was just a report out that there's ketamine in chickens. Ketamine, 12% of chickens that were tested in uh, um, uh, one of the USDA's evaluations were found to have ketamine. So that's the level of transparency that consumers are really interested. They understand that. GMOs can be a little confusing, but they know they don't want pesticides, herbicides, ketamine, antibiotics, and all these other toxins in their food supply chains. And that's where companies like Campbell's, with their major market pull, could really transform the natural products industry into something that is 
not cottage, um, not cutting edge, but literally changing the standard for what constitutes health versus disease care. Maybe we should talk to uh, one of the CEOs or the president of Campbell's and congratulate them. Yeah. I highly recommend that. All right. We'll, I'll work on that. Uh, the other thing is that uh, uh, the, the, uh, the Organic and Natural Health Association is a nonprofit. I mean, you're here to help the consumers. Am I correct? Absolutely. And, I mean, it's just that simple. You're not, you know, uh, your, your money is not coming from somebody who's making a roundup or anything like that. Correct. Our members are really quality companies who um, adhere to a pledge in terms of their supply chain. And really the fundamental difference in our trade association versus the others is all of our decisions are based on what we believe the consumer's best interests are and the consumers are represented at our table. So uh, we're not just companies. We are nonprofit consumer organizations and retailers as members. Uh, by the way, uh, Karen and I share information on the best pricing on supplements all the time. We're <laughs> always emailing back and forth. I think you have to find a cheap one now. I think it's I, your I, turn. I, it's on me. I, okay. You got it. Okay. Karen Howard uh, will uh, have an article and a picture on LateNightHealth.com. Uh, we're going to take some time out. When we come back, we're going to talk to the author of The Clarity Cleanse. Don't go away as Late Night Health continues. <laughs> 